Good morning. Today on Business Success in Six with Stacy, I have Dr. Nathan Benassi here from Campfire Pediatric Dentistry. Dr. Benassi, thanks for jumping on the call with us today. Of course. Thanks for having me. Hi. <laughs> so how this works is I'm going to ask you six questions in six minutes, and we're going to learn all about your business success story. Is that okay? Sounds great. Awesome. So the first question I always ask, when people ask you what your business does, how do you describe it? So we are a uh, pediatric dental practice. So we are a place for children and their families to come to access uh, great oral health, and learn about it and pursue it for the rest of their lives. Awesome. Thank you so much. And that is very, very specific, right? So you're working with these families from how how young? So from, from the time the first teeth come in, age one to age 13 or 14, when they have adult teeth, sometimes longer. Um, <laughs> so I'm happy to see kids longer, but uh, we, we try to specialize just on the younger kids that need a little more help uh, coming to see the dentist. Absolutely. That's wonderful. What were your business plans when you started and how have they changed? So uh, the biggest change is just kind of delaying our opening. So we, we wanted to start about two or three years ago in the area, and there was a uh, global pandemic that kind of got in the way of that. Um, but uh, the biggest change has just been our location. So now we, um, and our timing. So now that we've started um, about four or five months ago, we are in a wonderful location that we love um, on Greenway Boulevard, just across from Greenway Station. And we have a beautiful office with nice open windows and natural lighting. So I'm really glad we kind of delayed it because uh, we just love where we're at now. Perfect. It sounds wonderful. What is the biggest way you impact the community? So again, the, being a center for uh, children to come for oral health, and um, education, that is really what's so impactful about being a dentist or a pediatric dentist in general is just the impact you can have on a child and their families. So uh, being able to take a, an experience that some people find very uncomfortable, very scary, and show children at a young age that, hey, this isn't scary, this is fun, this is easy to do, and set them up just for a lifetime of success and just seeing seeing like the change in how they're feeling about um, coming to the dentist. Absolutely. You know, and the thing about oral health too, isn't it, it's more than just your mouth, right? Like having healthy teeth and gums, doesn't that like, isn't your heart healthier when you have healthy teeth and gums? Oh, definitely. So, um, and that's kind of just the funny thing of just how our society has kind of been set up. It was just always kind of a separate thing, but I mean, your digestive tract starts with your mouth. And um, that is the entryway for everything into your body. Um, and it is all connected. If you have inflammation and um, infection going on in your mouth, that is part of your body and that spreads through your bloodstream. It can affect your heart um, and other systems, it can affect your sleep, your performance in school. Um, so it is, it's definitely not separate. It's just kind of a, a funny thing about how we ended up uh, being a little bit separate from the rest of medicine. Isn't that, it's so interesting. Absolutely. And so what you're doing is actually educating entire families so they can get off to the right start for the rest of their lives. That's very, very impactful. So thank you for that. Oh, of course. Yeah. That's, what that's what's it? fun. <laughs> you look like you're having fun with, <laughs> what is one challenge you have faced that other business owners could learn from you? So I think, I mean, a lot of other business owners probably have had this experience, but it's it's hard um, uh, training and finding staff and then having people not show up for the first day of work or uh, walk out uh, when you think you have somebody um, ready and ready to help. And with that experience, um, we definitely learned to be um, able to change plans on the fly and kind of have other people fill in for different positions and pick up slack and just being more adaptable to kind of the changes in day-to-day -day business. Yeah, that's huge. Being adaptable, ready to ready to act when you have to, right? Oh yeah. And that's, that's wonderful. So I have wonderful staff that help out in um, all parts of the office. So if, if somebody can't make it in that day, we can fill in and that's help awesome. each other out. That's Beautiful. Thank you. 
What does the future look like for you? And do you have an exit plan? Exit plan? I mean, no, not really. This is long term. <laughs> but um, but what does the future hold? So definitely um, just growing our uh, our office and our staff so that we can see more patients, affect more families, and help um, help establish uh, good habits in oral health for more kids. So um, just growing, and we are a new business. We have um, only been here around four months, so we're definitely in that growing phase. That's awesome. Well, and when you say, you know, for the long term, people really want to know who they're going to, especially these, you know, young kids. It's the same face every time. So that's great that you're able to give that. Oh, yeah. And that again, that's part of the the whole goal is to have a, a dental home where we can see the same provider, be able to learn and be comfortable with coming in so that, um, again, we can be set up for a lifetime of oral health, not just one or two visits. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So all subjects open, what inspires you most? Um, probably I, so I, oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. Here, yeah. let me, uh, be quiet Hello. Perfect. I didn't do anything. It just, somebody else answered it. <laughs> um, so what inspires me? Um, so I think I've talked about it a lot already, but just that making that change in a kid's life. So where they're maybe really nervous and then to see them open up and um, just be excited to come in and excited to um, be there and see that, oh, you can do hard things. You're able to do this appointment that you were worried about. Uh, and that definitely comes from just children in general. And I don't want to sound corny, but I mean, that is like, that's why it's, so great to work with kids is because of the potential that they have and the um, just joy and um, uh, they're open to learning new things and they come out of their shell and can tell you all about it and show you the best way to do things. So that's so fun. And then they take their tongue and rub their teeth and say, see, my teeth are squeaky clean. And then you're yeah. excited about coming back, right? Exactly. And then it's not a big deal anymore. So um, well, and I just want to thank you for what you do on a personal level. Um, my middle son had his two front teeth knocked out. And when we had to go get stuff taken care of, he didn't have a pediatric dentist. And I wish that he could have just because you know, it, it dealing with children is so different than dealing with adults, especially in really stressful situations. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Oh, of course. No, <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Dr. Banasi, if people want to go visit you, how, what is the best way for them to book an appointment? So um, they can give us a call at 608-535-9382. Uh, um, and that will get you right on the phone with uh, one of our wonderful staff members, and uh, we can look at our website at campfirepediatricdentistry.com. Um, and we have a uh, Instagram, you can follow us on Instagram, see our, we do fun little videos of just life in the office. Cool. Uh, at Campfire Smiles. And then you can send us an email, you can call us, just whatever way you can get a hold of us, we're happy to, happy to see you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today and your success story. Thank you. Yep. Have a good day. You too.